We know the world is getting warmer, but it isn't always easy to visualise this. So let me introduce you to a champion at raising public awareness, Ed Hawkins, MBE, and find out how he came up with his climate stripes. So I was just looking for a very simple visual start way of communicating the fact that our planet is warming. And so I've used a set of coloured stripes, the blue colours for very cold temperatures and red stripes for very warm temperatures. And they're just shown as one stripe per year to represent the global temperature in that year, starting in 1850 and running up to today. And what we see as time goes on through that period, we see the stripes change from very dark blues, cold years, to light blues, to oranges, to reds, and then recently very, very dark reds as the planet has warmed very rapidly. The public understands a lot more about climate science and about the consequences that we face from our warming world. And I think the recent weather events have really brought home that message. We've seen extreme heat waves across the world in places like Canada and California. And we've seen wildfires in Turkey and Greece and Australia and extreme flooding in London and also in Germany and China and Japan. And what the science says, it's very clear that these types of extreme weather events are becoming more intense and more frequent as the planet is warming. And this tells us that climate change and our warming planet are already being impacted by the changes in our weather that we are causing by burning fossil fuels and adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. If we continue as we are, we're going to go over that 1.5 degree threshold within the next 20 years or so. But it's our choices about what we do next about our emissions which determine whether we will or will not go over that threshold. But we may go over it temporarily, but we can, in theory, bring the temperatures back down again by extracting carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and storing it underground where it can no longer affect the warming of the planet. Climate scientists all over the world have spent a lot of time communicating the science, talking to policymakers, talking to the public to let them realise the risks that our world is facing from the world planet. And it's thanks to all of our efforts that we're now seeing our politicians hopefully take this very seriously and make the very difficult choices about what we do next.